we're going to be making gratitude trees. Here's how we'll make them. So today we are going to be working on what's called a gratitude tree. And in our lesson about the lepers and Jesus healing the ten, we learn that only one of the lepers who was healed goes back and says thank you to Jesus. Research shows us that saying thank you and being grateful and looking at the things that go right in our lives and focusing on those things that we're grateful for really helps to make people happier people. So we're going to make what's called a gratitude tree to try to remember these things in our lives and focus on those things. So you're going to, you can use your markers and I would, I'm going to start at the bottom of this paper and I am going to just make my grass down here. And I'm making just little strokes as if I'm um, drawing each little grass blade. Okay, And I'm just layering it in once I do one, then I switch my pen to the other green, and then I go back in and I add a few more little blades of grass till I get all the way across the bottom. And you're gonna make the tree. I, first I'm going to go up and make a tr part of my trunk. Then I'm going to let my trunk branch out and I'm going to create some branches. When we think of branches, it's good to think about making some V's because when my branch comes up, these often break out into different branches in sort of a V-like shape. Then I can make that branch come up and then I can make another branch go out this way. And if I want right here, I could make another branch go out. And then I just make my V up there. Sometimes the branches go right behind another branch. So once I make my tree, then I'm just going to start filling in my tree. So while you're coloring in your tree, I'd like you to think, start thinking about some things that you're grateful for. Sometimes we focus on something that's going wrong and we forget to be thankful for the things that are going right. And so it's really important for us to kind of refocus our brains sometimes. Today, I was thankful for somebody that came into my classroom that I was teaching in and helped with the electronic, the computer, because the sound wasn't working right, and I was at home, and I couldn't hear the kids that I was teaching, and they fixed it, and then I could hear better, and that made me thankful. And I was also thankful today because we ordered some food from Target, and I was thankful that the person that shopped for us got all the things that we asked for and delivered them all to our house. So that made me feel thankful. And today, one of my students came up to the camera in my classroom just to make a special hello, say a special hello to me. And that made me feel grateful too that I have some but I know kind people that just make you feel special sometimes. So every day we can think of some things that we're grateful for. Sometimes it's people, sometimes it's that you got to eat something special for dinner that you like, sometimes it's that you're healthy. Okay. So there's my tree. Once you get your tree, then you're going to move this paper aside and you're going to take your green paper and you are going to just start making whatever leaf shapes you want to make but you want to make them big enough that you can write something on them and you want to make them close enough together that you're not wasting a lot of your paper. So I decided I'd make mine about this big because I wanted to be able to have 
kind of a lot of them so I could write a lot of things that I'm grateful for. Not all today, but this is the kind of thing that you can think about that each day maybe you fill out one of these little leaves and you write what you're thankful for until your tree gets really full with all your leaves. Then, after you draw all these leaves, you can cut them all out and you make a little pile of them. If you want, you can take a little rubber band or put them in a little plastic baggie so you don't lose your leaves. And then every time you, you every day maybe you go to your tree and maybe you put one leaf on the tree to say what you're grateful for that day. Next step is to cut out all of your leaves. So then as you cut out your leaves you make a nice pile or put them into a nice baggie to save to use every time you have something that you're thankful for and then you can decide what colors you want to write with them on and I let's see for this one I'm gonna write I'm thankful for my dog. So I'm gonna write dog on that one and then maybe I want to use different colors every day that could be kind of fun and then Maybe on this one, I'm going to say that I'm thankful for my mom. I'm thankful for to be healthy. And I'm thankful for God's love. I'm thankful for forgiveness. I'm thankful for food, and I'm thankful for my church. I'm thankful for music, and I'm thankful for art, and I'm thankful for my house. And as I write these, each time you write one, you can just take your glue stick and you put a little on the back and then you just decide where you're going to put that one on your tree. And your tree is just going to get more and more full of leaves and full of thankfulness. So you just glue them right on like that and that is how you're going to make a gratitude tree. We'll see how many you can fit on. And you know what I'd love to see? I would love to see later, in a few weeks maybe, after you put a bunch of these on, what things you have on your tree. And if you need help, if you don't know how to spell a word, you can ask your mom or your dad or your grandma or your grandpa for help. Okay? We're just going to see how full we can get our tree with all the things we're grateful for. And then I want you to think too about when you start thinking of the things you're grateful for, how do you feel in your heart? Does that make you feel happier and happier when you realize all the things that you have to be thankful for? That's how it feels to me. The more things I think about being thankful for, the happier I feel. And when you put things on your tree, you could also remember to thank God for those things when you say your prayers. I hope you all enjoy making your gratitude tree.